Hey, it's Matthew here, just at home in Toronto, Canada on a lovely summer's day, getting organized for my trip to Jamaica today. So I'm just getting all the gear together and I wanted to give you a quick tour of what I'm using to shoot this time. I did get some new stuff, using some old stuff, borrowing some equipment as well. So this is the quick equipment tour, what I use to shoot Ross Kitchen. It's your time. We're here in my living room, getting set up. You may notice how smoothly this camera is just floating all over the place. It's because I'm using my cell phone on a DJI Osmo. So I borrowed it from my friend Uncle Dar. Thanks Uncle Dar. Darwin also makes beats for the show and made the No Fuckery shirt. So multi-talented dude. Thanks Darwin. First things first, we have, wow, the Lumix GH5. I just got it. I'm really excited to have it. I haven't upgraded in five years and a number of reasons I got this camera. Number one, it's really good in low light, which I tend to shoot in a lot. Mako's kitchen, for example. Two, it's got really good stabilization. So I'm using a gimbal right now, and you can see how buttery smooth it is when I pan around the place. And uh, this camera's got it inside, so supposedly you don't really need one that much. It also fits all my old lenses from my old camera. I was on the GH3 before, so I did upgrade just one lens here, and that is a 12 by 60 2.8 Leica lens, so I can't wait to see how it looks. And I can do time lapse on it too, which is nice, internally. Uh, I did get an XLR attachment for it, so you can see here I have uh, two inputs on the back. I'm using a Rode NTG shotgun, which I had from before. You want to have good audio, and when you're shooting run and gun style like I do, you don't have time to mic up people as you might in ideal world. In an ideal world. So yeah, that's the main one. Second camp is going to be the Lumix GH3, and that's the one that all the nice shots were done on last time. All the time lapse, all the really pretty stuff that I had time to set something up with. So it's still got all my old lenses. I got a 17 mil, got a fish, got a uh, 14 by 140, which is the longest lens I have, unfortunately, but it'll do the trick. And a nice Olympus portrait lens. So all the really nice stuff, uh, shots from last time I got on that. And it does have a Rode mic on it. It's called Video Mic Pro. Although I don't find it's that good compared to this one. So that's why I'm going for the shotgun mainly. A couple GoPros. I used them a lot last time. I probably won't as much this time because I've got these two. Plus my friend Nico Obed is coming to help me shoot and he's got a ton of great gear. So maybe we'll get to explore his gear later. Uh, a couple filters there for uh, lighting and UV filter, that kind of stuff. Let's move it on. Got a Rode boom pole for a mic. May not use that that much. This is the Mogo Pod. Uh, it's just a monopod, which is good for running gun stuff as well. This is my old broke ass Gizzo tripod. And I got that in China a few years ago and it's very broken, but if you use electrical tape, it works. So that'll be my second one. This is a Gito tripod head. It's really nice. It's light. It's smooth. I think it's a liquid head. I don't know much about it, but it works well. This tripod is the one I take all over the world. It's actually mainly for, mainly for photographers, but because it's so light and I just find it works really well, I use it for video all the time. It packs up really small really light and I just take it all over the world with me. It's my favorite travel one. This is what I rig up the camera on. It hooks up to the top there and I'll use it like a shoulder mount or I'll press it against my chest so I don't get tired. I did chuck a GoPro mount on it last time because I was shooting by myself and shooting two cameras at once so it's nice to have that option and I just got this on Amazon pretty cheap, maybe I paid 80 bucks for it or something. So great little attachment if you're doing documentary stuff or or that kind of thing. I've got some extra audio in here. This is for, you know, wireless mics. I probably won't use those. They're just too much of a pain to set up. And when I have them on Moco, there's always a dreadlock brushing against it, making sound. So 
that's just a backup. This is the pocket dolly slider. So really nice, that just moves along. You get some really nice cinematic stuff, really smooth looking. Uh, once you put the head on, it just kind of screws on like so. So that would be pretty sweet. And what else do we got here? A couple camera bags with your classic kind of stuff. Keep your lens clean, my friends. For the rain, it's always raining in Jamaica somewhere, as Moko says. It never stops. The clouds just move around. Got a bunch of extra batteries, chargers, lens caps whatever nothing too exciting in there same thing just another kit i got a whole bunch of sd cards as you want because you never want to run out of space so got that rock in there get into some accessories here you know xlr cable we do have power on the yard so that's just to plug in all my stuff this is the pile of gopro <laughs> stuff so yeah bit of a mess here but you get the idea all kinds of mounts mini SD cards little bits and bobs wrist mount chest mount remote control back doors lens cleaners tripods uh, what else here here's probably some important stuff you need if you're shooting in the water use this on your lens the water will drip off there's nothing worse than having an amazing water shot and then you take it back and look at it and there's just a big giant drip in front of the whole lens so yes just i'll chuck that all on this uh orange thing here for the GoPro. batteries whatever for mics and lights and that kind of thing a few tools for the tripod uh always bring duct tape anywhere i travel even if i'm not shooting i bring duct tape or electrical tape save my butt a number of times Needle nose pliers are always good to have. This is my favorite tool of all. If I could get sponsored by Leatherman someday, I will be so happy. So this is the Leatherman Wave. It's got a whole bunch of tools. It's got a knife, it's got pliers. And Marco likes using it for chopping up herbs, so it's a good one. And yes, got a headlamp here. More duct tape. This is for logging and transferring. This is for two terabyte drives. I probably won't even use that much, but it's always better to have extra than not enough. Miscellaneous cable ties, Velcros, stickers. You never know when you're gonna wanna attach something. I got a couple of these lights. So big up to DJ Marmalade. My buddy and I used to have a company selling these, which is uh, no longer around, but they're still rocking. Got a reflector here too. And then this is some DJI stuff. So. The camera mount I'm holding can actually attach onto that and I can have it follow me around automatically, which is pretty cool. Uh, chargers, here's a little uh, mic attachment for a GoPro or an iPhone. That's from Uncle Dar as well. Here's my super, super broke ass homemade water, bleh, whatever you call it, tripod thing for a GoPro. So I just found some wrist tie things, I don't lose it in the ocean or whatever. Drill the hole in an old piece of something and drill the mount onto that so I can shoot from the water if that ever comes up. And another little eBay thing here, you know, tripod for the cell phone, some dead cats that fit on mics and uh, you know, little fisheye lenses, cheapo kind of stuff. So that's the basic, the basic kit. These are the main guys for the operation. And I believe Nico shoots on all Canon stuff. So he's a high-end commercial photographer. He's probably got a lot nicer stuff than I do. So maybe we'll dip into his stuff later. Oh yeah, and last not but, but blah, blah, blah. last but not least, I got some uh, school bag for Ratty. You know, got some toys, got some books, got some paper, markers, crayons, fun stuff. We'll have some fun with that. I think I got bubbles in there and that'll be pretty epic. And don't mind the hammock. Yes, I have a hammock in my living room. I tend not to use that. <laughs> I don't sit on the couch anymore. I mean, I use the hammock almost exclusively. Forget about the couch. And if you're going to Jamaica or anywhere, I recommend if you have two free bags to bring, bring one with extra stuff. So I will fill this big one with clothes to bring to people. And um, 
you know, for now all the gear is going to go on that one and I'll bring this for just stuff for the family, sheets, clothes, all that stuff to give away. So thanks to all my friends for hooking me up with a bunch of clothes and stuff to give to people in Jamaica. And I know it looks like a lot, but uh, that's basically the kit. It's easy to get set up in Jamaica with this much. We can make a, a great show with relatively minimal stuff. And, you know, I could get away with a lot less if I had to, but since I'm camping out in the same place I always do, and I have some help this time, it's gonna be pretty sweet. Okay, that is the tour. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to all my friends for hooking me up with gear and clothes and, and helping me out on this mission. And can't wait to get new Ross Kitchen for you starting later today. Yes, bless up.